it's been a while since I've done any fishing. So I'm having to actually do some scouting today because the beaches have completely changed. We've had a lot of flat, no wind days going on here lately. And that gets all the sand to flatten back out. So I'm scouting and I think I found a good spot down here. There's a nice, what looks like a big hole with possibly a cut in it. So I'm gonna head down there, check it out. I'll show you what it looks like. I'm seeing a bunch of devil rays right now. There's some devil rays out here cruising in nice big groups. That's cool. Hopefully they're not a problem. If they stay in this area, I might move to another spot because I don't want to hook those guys. What I'm looking at, we got a sandbar here and I can easily reach behind that sandbar and get into the deeper water past it. And then over this way, there's a trough. But then in here, we got a hole and it's actually a cut. The sandbar stops like right here. I'm gonna check this area out behind the sandbar. But I'm also hoping that the fish see this cut and actually come in to check out the trough and stuff looking for bait. So I'll put, you know, a couple closer in to shore to see if there's any redfish, whiting, even pompano coming in looking for sand fleas or whatever else. They're hungry to eat. Be using some frozen shrimp that I got from Half Hitch Tackle in Navarre. I cut it up in like nickel dime sized pieces. I'm gonna get a couple rods out real quick with just the shrimp on it. And then I'm gonna look for some sand fleas and throw some of those out as well. Got a standard pompano rig and I'm gonna get this kind of where the cut's coming in. I'm just gonna have it hugging this bar. Not very far out at all. There we go, I'll let it sit there for a second try that spot out. I want to get these rods out because I only got about a couple hours before it gets dark. And as clear as the water has been lately, I'm going to use a fish finder rig. The way I have it is a snap swivel on my main line connect to a pyramid weight with just a bead to stop it from hitting the swivel. And then like 12 to 15 inches of 15 pound fluorocarbon and a number six owner Mutu light circle hook. It's a more natural presentation. There's no color to it. It kind of moves on the bottom more freely and just looks more natural. And last year it tore up the widening. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start using it again this year. And I'm gonna put this close to shore. I'm just gonna have it hugging the sandbar. I'll try that for a little bit. And if it doesn't work out, I'll move it in a little closer. There we go. Reel it in a couple times, get it off that bar. There we go. Some hits on it. Hopefully it's not those devil rays. I, they're right in front of me. I bet they were just hitting my line. Yeah, there's not a fish there. Those devil rays just bumping into my line. Looks like a bite. Or no, never mind. Look at that. There's a little fish on it. First fish of the day, little bitty blue runner. I do not have a rod out here for cut bait, so this guy gets to go back. He'd be perfect size to use alive. See ya, buddy. Put it right back. These devil rays are so cool, man. Look at them just cruising. They're just so beautiful. And these are manta rays, so they don't sting. They do not have a stinger like a stingray. Right, get some fleas. Got one, start out. Now, look back. And this line over here is slack. Let's see if we got a fish on it. All right, I hope it's caught up to something. He came all the way to shore. And it's a whiting. Nice. What did I say? Oh, and he's a stud too. Nice whiting on the fish finder rig. It hadn't been out, I don't know, five minutes, if that. Awesome way to start the day. Look at that hook set. Those little bitty circle hooks. They get in their mouth and they're in there. He, this guy was swimming around who knows how long. He was right at shore. He's probably about 14, 15. Definitely eater size. Let's get some more, man. Let's get that back out, man. I'd love to come home with some whiting. Might even do a catch and cook. There we go. Right back where it was. Back to the sand fleas, four or so, rudely interrupted. I could get a 
couple more. There we go, another good size one. Get me started. I can scoop while I'm waiting. There we go, already another bite on that fish finder rig. Yep, there he is, nice, <laughs> I love it. I don't know why I stopped using this rig, man. Uh, Manny Lopez, he's, he lives in Alabama, but he comes and visits. And uh, he reminded me of this rig, him and Donnie. Donnie Wimmelberg brought it up too. That's another stud, man. But those guys reminded me of this rig and I'm just like, man, why haven't I been using it? That might be even bigger than the last one. Yeah, that's a hoss right there. Sweet. That's a solid 15 incher right there. He's a little bigger than the last one. Nice and fat. Let's keep him coming, man. Using the sinker guy Bruno rig today. And on the bottom, I just have a sand flea. And on the top, I have frozen shrimp. And I'm going to throw this past the sandbar here. I'm going to try to get it just past it. See if any fish are cruising in that transition zone. And I call it a transition zone. What I mean is just the color change from the sandbar to the deeper trough out there. It's like a lighter green color. Probably overcasted it. No, that's fine. Right about right where I wanted it. Love to catch pom. Oh, I say that, my rod's going off. Dang, that was a decent hit. Oh, he's there. Nice. Oh, it feels like a good fish, too. That's on the Bruno rig out past the sandbar. But this is a good fish right here. Feels good, at least. It's not running in, though. He's kind of just fighting. So I'm not sure what it is. But no jumps gives me hope that it's not a ladyfish. Looks like I doubled up on something. You know what? It's a stingray. Yeah, and that's actually a stingray too. All right, let me get my pliers, go deal with him. You know, I did double up. It looks like there was two, two things on there. I have little stingray and then a small blue runner over here. He got foul hook right here in the wing. And right there, that's where the barb is. It's not the whole tail. You don't have to be scared of the whole tail. There's a barb that sticks out right there. That's what's poisonous. No real good way to handle these guys. I kind of just throw them back in. Let's see if those waves will get them. They're pretty good about... There goes the blue runner too. I forgot about him. That wave should get him. There he goes. Get this blue runner back too. Not a fan of catching those, but hey, they get you excited at least. Fish on. Something there. Something there, no fight though. We'll just crank him in, huh? What we got, what we got? Some more bait? It's like the blue runners are out today. Yeah, more bait, look at that, man. They're, it's like they're coming back through. Haven't caught blue runners in a while. And apparently today, they are back. They're not what we're looking for. Feels like another blue runner. Doubled up again, they're running thick out there. And they're just little guys, man. They're not even good ones. Well, I think that's my cue right there. So I'm gonna put these pompano rigs up. They're, they're, not, they're not doing me any good anyways. And I'm just gonna move, see if there's any other whiting. I don't know, this guy's actually like swimming around and stuff. Maybe it's actually a decent fish. Oh, all right, he's finally starting to fight. Running in now. Come on, maybe it's something good. 
like immediately gave up from the little hit. Nope, it's just two bigger hardtails. What are you gonna do though? I mean, you can't come out here and always catch what you want, especially this time of year. It's tough, man. That's my cue to move. I'm moving down the beach. I'm not even gonna bother with the pompano rigs. All they've caught so far is, is blue runner and a ladyfish. So I'm gonna move down there to that spot and throw out my fish finder rig, see if we can find some more whiting. All right, at that hole, it's a nice deep hole. And there's a nice little pocket right here with a sandbar protecting it. So I'm definitely gonna put a bait there and then I'm gonna put another one over here where that there's a little bit of a rip current going on. Put one right at the edge next to the current. That didn't take long at all. Oh no, it's one of the... Oh man. Here we go. Oh, this is not what I wanted to happen right here. Apparently they're hanging out over here too. Oh well, I got a baby it too. I only got 15 pound on here, but hook the devil ray. You can see him out there splashing. And it's most likely foul hooked. I've never actually had one eat my bait. It's always been foul hooked. But I want to land it. I don't like leaving my rig on a fish. Come on, buddy. And I, I feel bad because they're just such beautiful creatures. It's a good size one, too. All right. Come on, buddy. But there he is. That's a devil ray. But as you can see, they do not have a stinger. It's just a thin tail and they're just epic creatures. I, I love them. I feel so bad hooking it. I really don't want to catch these guys. All right, easy unhook, just barely in them. All right, let's get them back. Come on, buddy. Let's get back in the water. Let's pick them up. Awesome creature right here. Go on, buddy. Sorry, man. Sadly, I caught that devil ray. <laughs> the one thing out here I didn't want to catch. The day started out great. Caught those two nice whiting. And then from then it went downhill. Just the bite slowed down. Lots of blue runners. And the, the dreaded devil ray did not want to catch that guy. I just, I feel bad. Because they're just, I don't know. I think they're such cool creatures. It's almost a shame to hook one in my opinion because they're just so pretty and so cool but i'm happy i did manage to catch two nice stud whiting they'll make a great lunch tomorrow for me and my wife and i'm just going to show you how i prepare those for lunch do a quick catch and cook i don't do anything fancy this is just a nice easy recipe for lunch all right back at the house got my whiting fillets here i'm gonna start cooking them up just using a non-stick pan big enough to hold all four of these fillets and I'm gonna set the stove to a medium high heat. Let that pan get good and hot before I start. All right, got the pan good and hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some butter. Make sure I coat all of the pan real good. Start dropping in the fillets. And for seasoning, I'm gonna use Slap Ya Mama. Love this stuff. Just get a a light coat on top and just let those cook for a minute all right it's about it looks about time to flip them over and then let those cook just a little bit longer and that'll be it and there it is looks pretty good just got it with some potato chips me and my wife are just gonna sit here and enjoy this lunch Hope you all enjoyed the video and until next time, take care and tight lines.